Today we're going to talk about our Alaka'i program, our leadership programming. We uh, try to base our foundations in the program in teaching kuleana. And the kuleana being that our planet needs us to make better decisions every day. And so as we take keiki, stand up paddling, sailing, canoe paddling, rock running underwater, uh, doing swim tests, connecting them to the kai, the ocean. That connection to the ocean is becoming a, a relationship that the children have and will carry for the rest of their life. And within that relationship, our expectations are that the children will take a kuleana or a responsibility for the earth's health. We, we don't necessarily give them specifics on how to act as, uh, as agents in the community, but we tell them that, that they represent their families, they represent us, and they represent the Aina. You know, we have issues going on the Mauna, we have issues going on with glacier melting, we have issues with plastic, and I think one of the most under-spoken about issues is the, is the fishing industry, whether it's overfishing or abuse of the ocean by the, by the big fishing industries. And, you know, the more and more our keiki are connected with the kai and connected with the aina, they're going to know exactly what they want to do when they're our business leaders and our government leaders etc. And they're not going to want to make the same decisions that our politicians and our businessmen are making today because they're growing up in a different era where they realize if they're not taking responsibility for it, then they're going to be blamed for it. Because obviously everybody else today has chosen economics over environment and that choice alone is going to take generations to fix. See, we, th we live in this beautiful place called Hawaii. And if you take it for what it is, it's amazing. But what people tend to forget is that we got 10% or 20% of the amazing that used to be here 200 years ago. And that was a choice made by businessmen, nobody else. Hawaiians didn't make that choice. Businessmen made that choice. They made that choice to sacrifice in the name of making dollars. What we gotta do is not forget about making dollars, but we have to prioritize our environment alongside with it. We don't, we don't wanna collapse economies. We don't, we don't wanna starve or live poor, but we also don't have to sacrifice our environment, sacrifice our aina, our water, our drinking tables, our oceans, our fishes, in order to get to success. That's just the easy route to success. With a little bit more work and a little bit more planning, we can actually be successful monetarily as well as have a, as a thriving and a rehabilitating environment. As we, the privileged who have a connection to the ocean here, have a connection to culture, have a connection to our kupuna knowledge, start to uh, look at what's around us, we see that there's a lot missing. And that's what, that's what drives every program that Kamakai has. The drive to give the privilege of knowledge that's been given to us from peoples that have not been interrupted by selfishness, but been embraced by having balance, having pono, righteousness in our, in our environment and with our people. I'm just so blessed. And I think that our volunteers feel the same way that they are so blessed to be able to share the enjoyment of our ocean while empowering our next generations.